welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here in Aberfoyle in the Trossachs uh, to ride a completely different event. This is brand new for me, not really sure what to expect, but the Duke's Weekender has been an event which it's been on the cars for a few years and yeah, really excited to come along and just see what gravel riding and racing is all about. So uh, the weekend's got a hill climb, uh, which is sort of three minutes, just over three minutes for the quickest riders up, you know, upwards. Um, if I get close to that, I'll be pleased. And then uh, the six stage gravel race on the Sunday around some of the Trossachs. So a uh, really cool event. There's like over 300, maybe 400 riders here. It's absolutely packed. So I'm going to be riding the, the Giant Revolt for the weekend. We're going to take a look at the bike and yeah, just give you a bit of a flavor of both what I'm riding and the event itself. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into the bike check now. I'm just gonna talk through my Giant Revolt that I'm riding this weekend. Um, this is a 2022 model and so far it's absolutely pinned. Yeah, really cool, comfortable bike. And yeah, I'll talk through some of the features. For 2022, the bike is lighter than last year. It's 160 grams lighter. It's got quite a steep head tube. So 71 and a half degrees on the medium. Uh, 72 on the large and XL, a bit of variety there. They've changed the seat stays here so they're a lot more flexible, giving you a better comfortable ride. And this is just really well uh, specced with the GRX throughout. Uh, this bike for some reason came with the brakes switched over so I switched them before this event because I couldn't get used to riding brakes the wrong way around, um, especially off road. So I've switched it over so the front brake is now on the right hand side. And the Revolt comes with six mounting positions for racks and accessories in different locations across the frame. And then a few of the changes I've made to this bike. Um, switched the tyres over so I've put these WTP uh, Riddlers, they're 45 millimetres. So the good thing about this frame is it can fit up to a 53 millimetre tyre. There's a flip chip as well so you can change the, the wheel size and higher clearance so yeah check out the specs for that if you're interested on that uh, and the wheels I've got Kish Cores uh, CX ones just for the comfort running lower pressure so I've got yeah 31 on the back and 30 on the front and yeah for this weekend throwing the mud hugger on the front nothing on the back we're only out for about four hours so I'm happy to get a bit wet and got all my PBJ sandwiches in my Deutscher bag and a few spares um, final change Lizard skins um, grips just for extra comfort. So I'm gonna head along and head off for the day now. is done like a good mix of single track and fire road and yeah I kind of uh, pushed it pretty hard on one of them and got a little bit of sick in my mouth <laughs> it was quite hard <laughs> but yeah like the bikes run well um, I took the nano tires off the WTB nanos and put these uh, Riddlers on uh, last night and uh, yeah just got like a bit more confidence on the single track but it's quite rocky and I get pretty nervous descending on the gravel bike but yeah, it's pretty good. Enjoying it. Yeah, on to stage five. On to stage five. I better Sick. keep going. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, pretty good. Last time. Starting to tire now. We're, um, yeah, we're like seventy, just short seventy k in, sixty five k. 
going up to the last uh, stage, stage six, which apparently is like 400 meters, like punchy climb and then a bit of a descent. So yeah, it's gonna be tough work, but Sick. looking forward to cake. <laughs> Bikes are good. Bikes are good. <laughs> right. You and Ellen, you don't know where you come round. <laughs> Hello, Peter. I thought you were going to live, not giant. Hi. That's how I like to ride. There you go. On into first for now. First? 31 minutes. That's not bad. I've got no idea what to compare that to. But that was fun. Cool, so that's, uh, that's me finished up at the Duke's Weekender. Hill climb was savage, and then today's route, uh, 73 kilometers around some of the Trossachs was just stunning. Uh, great to see so many people out riding, and really nice to put the giant revolt through its paces today. It was, yeah, super comfortable out there. It definitely handled that single track nicely, and yeah, it didn't skip a beat. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to know more about this bike or any of the other bikes that we're riding this year, then drop a comment and um, just drop a comment below. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video soon.